Hi, everybody. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so um, this is intermediate vocabulary. And I, I put a document. It's, it's a little hard to read, um, sharing, so. Um. It's the best way, um, I think, if you each have your own. All right, so the theme for today's vocabulary uh, is crime. So we'll, we'll look at the vocabulary that's on the handout. And then I, I'll also give you some vocabulary that um, it's not on the handout <laughs> that may help you when you're watching American television shows. OK, so if you look at the, the first page, there's only two pages to the handout, it says, if you do something illegal, so that's our first word, illegal, um, which means it's wrong or against the law, <laughs> sorry, Miguel, you're distracting me, <laughs> um, then you have committed a crime. Most people commit a minor crime at some point, I'm sorry, at some time in their lives. For example, driving above the speed limit, parking illegally, or stealing candy when they were children. Okay, so we call these things uh, illegal. Okay, so now let me give you uh, um, some ex some different words that are not on the paper. Okay, so small crimes we call these misdemeanors. Miss. Mm. Minor crime. Yeah, mm -hmm. so these are very small crimes. So, for example, some of you may be aware of the film called Crimes and Misdemeanors. <laughs> um, I think this is a Woody Allen film. So, if you if you um, if you're not familiar with this movie, um, crimes and misdemeanors. It's it's a it's kind of a comedy, kind of <laughs> as much as Woody Allen's can be a comedy. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I mean, it, it is a comedy, but yeah, Woody Allen is sometimes very serious. So um, so a misdemeanor is a small crime. So these are things like what what we call petty theft. For example, um, like stealing, stealing food, um, or can, yeah, or yeah, shoplifting. Nothing too big, you know. Shoplifting a small item. We call these um, mist. Uh, we call this petty theft. Um, Sorry, clothing, sorry. So we petty means, you know, not not very big, like really small. 
so um, that's why we call it petty theft. Very good. Okay, and then somebody put up there manslaughter is a misdemeanor. No, um, actually, I think manslaughter is a felony, I think. So, um, Hamoud, do you have two windows open? Hamoud? Yes, I think. Yeah, because I hear an echo. So, um, manslaughter is when you accidentally, you kill somebody, uh, but you, you, didn't, you didn't intend to do it. Like, you didn't wake up in the morning and say, yes, today I will kill so-and-so. It was an accident. Usually a car accident or maybe an accident with a gun or something, but it wasn't intentional. But I still think in it's Joe. a... Yeah. I'm sorry, Christoph? In job. Yeah, like a, yeah, like an accident on the job, I guess. Um, could be manslaughter, maybe. Um, I, I think it depends on the circumstances, but something like this. All right. So, so to review, we have theft, petty theft, misdemeanor. Okay, and then we've talked a little bit about manslaughter already. I'll write it for you. I think it's on your paper. Manslaughter. What about perpetrator. Yeah, perpetrator is just whoever did the crime. That's a good one. Perpetrator. Uh, compared to felony. Oh well, the perpetrator is just the person who did the crime, whether it's a big crime or not. Uh, whether it's a whether it's a misdemeanor or a big crime, um, you're still a perpetrator. So. A perpetrator could be a little thing or it could be a huge thing. <laughs> it depends. Can I add something? Yes, please. Homicide. Yes, homicide. Uh huh. Homicide. Are you asking me what this is or? Just uh, proposing the term. I oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Homicide means murder. Uh huh. Absolutely. Yeah, homicide. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Intention. Intentional. Yeah. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Intentional means you, yeah, you, on purpose, you killed them. Assassin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So you had a plan or, or intent, right? Yeah. So, like, for example, if I leave my house and I bring That's with me, good. yeah, I bring with me um, a gun and a knife and directions to the person's home, that that would show that I have intent to to kill someone. Um, and then that would be a homicide if, if I'm successful. So most of the television shows that many of you watch are all about homicide, right? <laughs> um, it's all about killing people. Okay, so let me, let's see what else we have here on your paper. We have robbery and breaking and entering. Okay, so uh, robbery and breaking and entering. Okay, this is an term for you. Um, for those of you who who are um, who watch a lot of American television, so um, robbery just means a theft. Okay, um, robbery is a th is a theft of some kind. Um, there's different types of robbery, right? Um, you you can just you can go into somebody's house and take what they have, or you can take somebody's wallet. That's considered a robbery, or um, it can be a big, a big robbery, right? Like rob a bank, or um, or or hold somebody at gunpoint and rob them. Okay, so we have different types of robbery. So robbery is just kind of a general, a big term for theft, to steal. So robbery, theft, and stealing are all the same, really. So robbery is the same as theft is the same as a stealing. Hmm. Katie? Yes, uh-huh. Can be burglary. And what is the difference between stealing and rob? No, there's not much. That's what I'm saying. They're really synonyms. To steal or to rob, they mean the same thing. Mm -hmm. So robbery uh -huh. is the same as theft, is the same as stealing. So they're all nouns, and um, they all mean about the same thing. Hello, Miguel. <laughs> I said hello to you earlier. You're not. I thought. <laughs> what about burglary? 
Yeah, burglary is another one too. So robbery, theft, is it stealing, burglary. robbery. It's the same burglary. Uh, a, bur a burglary usually means um, uh, it's a theft. Um, a theft where you um, um, <clears throat> it's a theft where you break into somebody's house, which is what yeah, I was going to you talk crowbar. about. Yeah, with it, yeah, or pick the lock, or break the window, or what have you. So, um, so what burglary about? is theft. Okay, so often, yeah, crime scene investigation. That's right. So often, you will hear on American television when they're talking, they'll they'll say they speak very quickly, or not not quickly, but they speak in abbreviations, and so they'll say maybe something like this. Um, uh, you might hear them say um, uh, B and E. Like you might hear them say, but it's only a B and E. Why are you calling us? Right? Like, you know, if, if you're homicide, you don't care about robbery, right? So B and E stands for breaking and entering. Um, and it just means that usually that somebody. Uh, you know, broke, they got into your house and they took something. So he's a burglar. Yeah, he's a burglar or a robber, usually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, burglar is like the one that breaks into a house or a place. That's right, Mike. Uh huh, Miguel. <laughs> what about looter? Yeah, a looter is, um, a looter is kind of specific. Um, lo looting happens when, um, Mm, when like a whole, it's like a mob, like a whole throng of people or a whole big group of people um, um, just begin to do crazy things, right? So looting happens, riot. yeah, like during a riot or something like this. It, it's not often. It doesn't happen often, right? It's a specific um, event usually, yeah, so... Uh, it's not common. We can these people who rubber uh, these people during Katrina looters. Yeah, those would be looters exactly. Like they take advantage of like a horrible situation. So, right. So like when Hurricane Katrina like devastated, you know, Louisiana essentially, then and in, instead of you have people who they see an opportunity to steal so they do they steal so they go into the walmart or they go into the grocery store and they just start taking things because everybody's distracted with all the horrible events that nobody's watching them so they're not they're not like usually robbers they just take advantage of that one point in time yeah, they're they're sleaze bags. We, we would call them sleaze bags. <laughs> assault, assault teacher. Assault. Okay, assault is is when you when you physically touch somebody. Okay, so uh, that's all assault means is that you you touch somebody. Okay, assault. So it means. So you have to touch. So this is not the same like offend. No, no. So, assault you have to use force. Yeah, well, well, yes, usually. Uh huh. You have to use force. It means you touched another person without their permission. Um, so, for example, um, if if I just walk if I walk up to one of you and I just bam hit you, that would be considered an assault, right? Because, you know. You weren't. You, you didn't have my permission to hit you, so that would be an assault. And then we have different types of assault, right? We have we have aggravated assault, uh, 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 and this is more severe. Usually, a more severe beating. Uh, and then we have something called sexual assault. This is usually a rape. Um, uh, what about harassment in this case? Harassment? Okay. Um, sexual harassment. Yeah, sexual. Okay, sexual harassment. Now, this is these. This is usually or often. It's a little more subtle, right? It's not. Um, 
it's not always that blatant. So, so harassment can be things like um, like um, stalker. Yeah, it could be like um, inappropriate jokes, or it could be touching. Uh, Slapping. Down. Yeah, like touching someone or hugging. Uh, like for example, um, like where I used to work, there was one guy there, and he just would he was he would just walk up to you and just give you a hug. He was a little strange. So, all right, for me, it didn't really bother me that much because it was kind of obvious that he was a little, you know, a little bizarre. But for some people, yeah, for some people, they didn't like it at all. So they filed a sexual harassment case against him, um, and they he had to move. Like, they, they moved him to a different place <laughs> to bother other people I guess <laughs> but yeah so so it could be like touch you know hugging so it wasn't really even that sexual it's just the guy was just kind of like you know obviously he was a little strange okay something wasn't right about him so but um yeah so that's 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 what we call sexual harassment it can be or it could it could be it can be the other way around too it could be a woman that keeps bothering a man like Suppose you work at a place and, and this woman just keeps asking you out over and over every day. You know, you could, as a male, you could say, look, you know, this lady is like driving me crazy. She's, 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 she's harassing me. She keeps, I've told her, no, I'm not interested. Yeah, you could. But usually it's the guy bothers the girl, usually. But it can be the other way. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> The movie of Michael Douglas with the uh, harassment the woman uh, that uh, he was in, uh, I forgot the, the title, it was a woman who, uh, who uh, harassed him sexually. Oh yeah, I'm sure it happens, yeah. I, I, forgot, I forgot the name of the movie. Yeah, yeah I, I think I know what what you're talking about. I, I forget too the names, but yeah, I mean it's just... <laughs> it's just I mean, yeah. I will. I will say that sometimes it's really legitimate. I mean, it's really, you know, the person is really bothering somebody else. But in my experience, nine times out of ten, it's just a way for one person to, um, like, either get a transfer or or get some kind of monetary compensation. It's kind of. Um, I don't know. I mean, for me, whatever. I maybe I'm too tolerant. I don't know. <laughs> but um, mm -hmm. anyway, some people are really sensitive about it. So, like, when here in the United States, if you work here ever, you just have to, you know, like, only call people by their official name. Like, 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 never say, "Hey, baby, can you hand me that report?" <laughs> like, you would never say that. You you, you would say, "Oh, excuse me, Miss Smith." Can I please have the report? Yeah, I mean, you have to really be careful and make sure that you speak properly all the time. <laughs> like, no jokes, no, yeah, it's kind of, I don't know, it's, it makes work, um, it, it makes work kind of, um, kind of boring sometimes. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, molesting, Mike, okay, um, um okay, um, molesting is when, um, and uh, and a person who's older, who's legally an adult, um, sexually assaults a, a person who's not legally an adult. So it could be like, let's say an 18-year-old boy has sex with a 17-year-old girl. Okay. Minor. A minor. Yeah, a minor. Technically, that's that's m molesting. Even though the girl said it's okay, blah blah, but she legally she's not 18, so that's the way it is here in the United States. Until you're 18, you can't do anything legally. <laughs> so yeah, that's legally. that's yeah legally. Like, uh, like Michael Jackson was accused once yeah. uh, of mm -hmm. mother, mother. Yeah. He yeah he was accused often. Now I. I don't think he was ever convicted. I don't think there was ever enough evidence. Um, mm -hmm. I think that Michael Jackson was very strange.
strange. There's no question that he was a little bizarre. But I don't think he really did those sorts of things. I think he was weird, but I don't think he hurt anybody. <laughs> he, uh, yeah, he was a little weird, but that's it. So, yeah, Lewinsky harassed Clinton. Yeah, I guess you could say that, Lewinsky. <laughs> Whatever happened to her, Monica Lewinsky, God. You have a good memory, Christoph. Anyway, so that's, <laughs> that's a... Um, she was pretty. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's like, well, I probably shouldn't say this, but I mean, okay, if you're the president of the United States, okay, come on, you're the most powerful man in the world. I mean, women are just going to just throw themselves at you. So, I mean, if the situation were reversed and some, like, if I was the president and I was a guy and some cute girl just threw threw herself at me. I mean, come on. Are you really going to say, no, no, no? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, it just seems to me that um, I would take advantage of two of those situations. <laughs> it's like, I mean, come on. Yeah, so um, I think that that's what happened. Yeah, and then Lewinsky talked to a lawyer, and then she just decided to um, try to get as much money as she could. I mean, come on, she... Yeah. yeah, I mean, she 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 had sex or some kind of sex or something with the with the president. I mean, come on, it's priceless. <laughs> so, um, I think that's what happened. I think, but you know, maybe I'm just too. Am I too cynical? Maybe I don't know. I just think that. I mean, maybe George Bush. Maybe George Bush. He seemed to be kind of what we call asexual. That guy, George Bush. He didn't seem to really be male or female. He just was kind of neutral. <laughs> maybe, maybe he was able to tell all those people no, 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 no. But I mean, come on, most guys, please. I don't know. Anyway. It's weakness. Yeah, and, and okay, if you want to call it a weakness, but I mean. I mean, don't forget, the girl's there, too. What, she's not enjoying herself? I mean, come on. <laughs> it's like, it's not just men. Hello? It takes two. We say it it's takes kind two. Of, <laughs> we say this. A, take a kind of human natural. Yeah, come on. Because you are a human. Yeah, it takes two to tango, as we say in the United States, right? I mean, you know, mm. Monica did not do yeah. this alone. <laughs> So anyway, like um, basic instinct. It's called I mean, basic instinct. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> yeah, Fabio. I mean, so I think that's what I think happened. So if if Bill Clinton made any kind of mistake, the mistake was not like you know giving Lying. her money sooner. Yeah, he should have given her money sooner to to keep her quiet. I mean. He's got plenty of money. Just give her what she wants. Buy her a car, whatever. You're the most you're the most powerful man in the world. You can have whatever you want. So, I don't know. I'm just saying, if I was in his shoes, I can't say that I would turn it away either. <laughs> yeah, it takes two to make things fun. Good. That's right, Fabio. We say it takes two to tango. <laughs> All right. Sure, I have, I have, uh, <laughs> how we can call this woman? <laughs> I don't know, um, Lorena. I, I, I can say fame, fame hunter. She was a fame hunter. Yeah, I think Lorena Bobbitt is now like is like she's the the main source of nightmares for men all over the world. <laughs> I, that's what I think. I don't know about her. I I wasn't really f um, paying attention when the whole Lorena Bobbitt thing happened. But, I mean, she claims, I think, that she was abused and her husband hit her and blah, blah, blah. It was self-defense. I don't know. I mean, okay. I mean, to me, I don't understand. Like, you know, we have a phone. Call the police. Hello. <laughs> like, you know I mean, it's like, do you have to, like, snip? I don't know. I, I don't quite get, understand that. I mean, it's like, really? <laughs> We have a phone. Call the police. I mean, <laughs> get in your car and drive. Really? I don't know. Maybe but, she um, didn't know the number. <laughs> it's, it's, 
But anyway, um, I, I will say this, that I think that the husband is okay. I think they were able with surgery to like make him 100%. I don't know how, but they did it. <laughs> so anyway, I don't know and, Katie, and yes. what about Black Mayo? Yeah, blackmail. Okay. Um, well, let me. Uh, Miguel asked about stalkers. A stalker yeah. is spelled like this. A stalker. A stalker is just somebody. It could be male or female who just like follows you everywhere, right? Like, um, yeah. Like, shut up. like your shadow. Yeah, like they don't necessarily do anything. They just are always there. So, like, if you're at a restaurant and you look over. There he is. If you <laughs> go to the post office, you look behind you, and there he is. I mean, it's just, ew, it's like funky. We call that it's stalking. Scary. Yeah, it's scary. scary. Yeah. And um, the only thing you can do is get what hear what they call a TRO, which is called a temporary. You'll hear this a lot on crime TV. Restraining too. order. That's right. Temporary restraining order. Very good, um, Christoph. You know a lot of English. Temporary restraining order, and they a they TRO. They yeah, and it's temporary. It's usually only for like six months or or a year or something. And then usually, um, usually the the person can't come within a hundred feet of you. So uh, it limits them. So they yeah. So they have to always at all times stay a hundred feet, which is like what thirty meters or something about. 30 meters away from you always. Okay. Um, I have a term, uh, teacher. If yeah. I may. Somebody asked uh, me. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, about magging. About, say again? How do you spell it? it? It's maybe British. Uh, M U double G I. Oh, mugging. Yes, mugging. Okay. A mugging it's is when. A mug yeah. yeah. A mugging is, happens outside on the street, in, usually in. Well, it can happen at night too, but it happens in public usually. So, like, you're walking down the street, just minding your own business, you know, just doing your, living your life, and then somebody will just, um, well, it, it can be one person who just will like push you over and like grab your purse. Usually, women are mugged. Usually, or It'll be two people, and like one person will say, "Excuse me, could you help me find the Empire State Building?" And then while you're trying to help the person, the other person like knocks you over. <laughs> so they create a distraction, and then they um, they just take your purse. But uh, I have another uh, definition for this: it's to with a knife. They threaten you to to oh. to give your wallet or your okay. your your. Your uh, your watch or something valuable. Yeah. Uh, um. If that happens, we usually call that armed robbery. Um. Uh. So we would have a little different name, armed robbery. But a mugging doesn't always mean that there's a gun or a knife. It can just mean that they just take what take your purse or your wallet. I mean, they they, they force you. Yeah. They they force you, but they don't necessarily have a gun or a knife. You know, it could be like a group of guys gang up on you. You know, what are you gonna do? You know, so you just give them the, give them that your money. Yeah. Teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a question about. Um, uh, it's a crime to. Is it a crime to to drink on the streets? Yeah, and well, in crazy United States, it is. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, some people. Use the the that paper to cover the the bottle, yeah, but if the police knows uh, that those people are drinking, why they don't do? Why they can uh, arrest those people? Well, I think because um, you know the police here, I'm sure, like in your countries, are really busy with like real crimes. You know, like murder and rape and you know molestation and you know all kinds of problems so those I those think small this crimes is because yeah. of advertisement you cannot advertise you cannot uh, pursue other person to if you yeah. have uh, this cover you can drink um i 
I think that you're not supposed to ever drink alcohol on the street, but it's, I mean, yes, technically it's a law, but it's not really enforced that much, I don't think, because the police are so busy. They don't have time for, you know, every person who's like on the street having a drink. I mean, come on. So, I mean, I'm sure a few people get arrested or not even arrested. You just would just get a ticket. It's like not a big deal. I mean, you have to pay probably like two hundred dollars or something. But I mean, you're not going to go to jail for it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, unless you really do something bad. I mean, but, but. yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I told you about TRO, temporary... Oh, the other thing that you hear a lot on TV is GSR. Uh, this stands for Gunshot Residue. Uh, that's what that stands for. And I, I mean, I don't really know because I'm not, I'm not a criminal. <laughs> but apparently when you shoot a gun, poof, it leaves like powder or something like all over you for a while. So they can test to see if you have recently shot or fired a gun oh yeah blackmail um blackmail okay um uh blackmail is when you uh, right. yeah like you um like suppose you it usually happens to like really important people okay um so like in the case of bill clinton suppose suppose that monica Lewinsky knew that he had mm, stolen money from a company or something. I don't know. You know. Suppose she had evidence that proves that he had stolen something. So then she goes to Bill Clinton and she says, look, I have the evidence right here that could put you in jail for 20 years, but I won't tell anybody if you pay me $5 million. So he gives her he gives her the money. That's blackmail, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. I mean, it, it happens on TV a lot. I don't know how much it really happens in real life, but it does happen on TV a lot. <laughs> yeah, blackmail. Bribery. Yeah, bribery is when you um now bribery. This happens a lot in gangster movies, right? Like. Gangsters do this. Gangsters in Washington. <laughs> yeah. yeah, bribery. Bribery is when you you just give enough. You just ask somebody. Well, look, how much would it take? How much money do you want to vote yes on this law? Or how much money do you want to let me not go to jail? You know, bribery. Yeah. Technically, it's illegal, but it happens all the time. So you just pay and you, nothing bothers you yeah just like the godfather exactly that's exactly how the mob that's exactly what they do they get in trouble and they just pay the police you said they buy the police yeah they buy the police yeah yeah uh, what about vandalism oh vandalism is when okay vandalism vandalism um, vandalism is when you deface uh, like public property or well it doesn't have to be public public or private property so deface or mar or ruin or harm uh, um, public or private property they destroy or uh, deface you yeah, it's, um, I mean, I think that every country has this, right? So, you know, like in the really mm, kind of poor neighborhoods of a city or the parts of a city that aren't very nice, there's a lot of vandalism, right? People, they write on the walls, things are broken, um, yeah. We, we see people. this in, uh, in uh, football fans when they, they lose. They, yes. They, they, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Embarrassing, but true. Yeah. That's right. It can happen. Yeah. For all kinds of reasons. They get, they, they get drunk and they don't know what they're doing. That's right. This is very common here in Brazil. After mm -hmm. a soccer game, they 
the the cheers yeah go and destroy everything like bus stops and like advertisement signs all over the street it's very very common it's very difficult to the police to control because oh yeah all... it's of course i mean yeah it's the same everywhere i mean it's just the way that it is uh okay a derelict something like that it's... oh i'm sorry go yeah, ahead something like uh, something like that is uh, going everywhere especially after the football match or something here in my yeah. country uh, can we after, call directly them? after the one of the major or big uh, football match mm -hmm. uh, the police is facing uh, a lot of this kind of people and yeah so it's just, it's it's crazy low yes. stadium hooligans yeah stadium hooligans exactly uh huh yeah. Okay, um, derelict. Okay, derelict is a little bit of a complicated word. Der, derelict. Um, did I spell this right? Derelict. Um, yeah, okay. So a derelict... Uh, okay, a derelict can be as a noun, and it can be a person. So it can be a person who, like, doesn't work, just lives on the street. Um... Home, homeless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. not, not the homeless. That's right. A person who is homeless and lives on the street. But they have to live on the street. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so. I thought the big, beggars, uh, beggars. Yeah, yes. yes. Often, often a derelict is a beggar. Yes, often. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're very, they're very similar. similar. Mm -hmm. Now, you can also, we can also use, um, we can also use the word this way. We can say, um. Uh, Dennis, yes, absolutely. Yep. Um, you can also say um, he was derelict in his But this is not the same like Loita. No. Mm -mm. What but, about um, Loita? Well, okay, let let me finish derelict. So a derelict can be a noun, meaning like a person who's homeless. But you can also say he was derelict in his duties, and so he was fired. So if you're derelict in your duties, it means that you just did nothing. You just, you didn't do your job. You just did nothing. <laughs> and so you could be fired for this, right? So um, some, some things, like for example, uh, like I was a teacher for for many years, and it, it's the law that if you suspect that a child is in any kind of danger, it, you have to call the police. It's the law. You have no choice. So if you don't call, and then later something happens, you I could be fired by being derelict. In other words, I wasn't, I didn't pay attention. I didn't call the police to try to help this child. Yeah, like negligent. Mm -hmm. it's, right. It's, uh, and different, and different. Yeah, it's yeah, it's more than that. It's like it's not doing something that you are legally required to do. So, yeah, if you're like here here in the U.S., if you're a teacher, you sign a, you know, you sign a affidavit or I don't know some kind of something. It's the law. You have to. So if you think, if you even suspect. A child is in danger. You have to call the police. You say to call the police to report it. Yes, mm -hmm. and then they investigate. That's right. Yeah. Derelict uh, can be as adjective uh, abandoned. Yeah, derelict. Uh huh. Yeah, you can you can say like a derelict building. Yeah, you could say that. Abandoned. If someone, if someone see a car accident in the street, and uh, pass pass. Uh, and uh, go in his way. Yeah, his you job. you can do that. It's yeah, you're not required to do anything. No. Mm -mm. But if uh, he needs help. Yeah, it's, you're not required. <laughs> you're really? not required. Yeah, so it, uh, you just have you hope you have to hope that somebody helps you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're not required at all. Nope. I mean we would hope that you would, right? But you would be surprised how many people just keep on walking. <laughs> yeah, like, like for example, I remember one time I was um, 
I was driving, and there was this woman just on, in the gutter, like on the in the street, on the, in the gutter, and the cars just kept driving by. <laughs> and so I pulled over, and you know, she 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 was like really drunk, or I don't know what her problem was. She was pretty out of it. So I went over there, and, and you know, and I called I called the police. And they, they they came and got her. But I mean. I don't know how long she'd been there, but a while. She'd been there a while because she was all sunburned. You know, she she had definitely been there at least a couple hours, at least. Uh, Nobody, teacher, what is gather? What means You said now. What? Gather or gather? You said she was in gather. Oh, in the gutter. Yeah, the gutter's gutter. like yeah, what? gutter. The gutter's like the side of the road where like the water runs in the water. Gutter. Yeah. The it's not what the meaning of. What is the meaning of obliteration? Uh, say again? Obli Goliath, what's Ob the word? Obliteration. Oh, arbitration? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, arbitration. Okay. Um, this, is in, this is an alternative to going to court. So, um, for example, um, let's say that you... Um, decide to um, mm, uh, mm, let's say you decide to hire a lawyer to to do your last will and testament okay that lawyer may ask you to sign an arbitration agreement and what that means is if for some reason you're not happy with him or her you agree not to go to a traditional court, but instead to go through a process called arbitration, where um, there's a professional person there, an arbitrator, they call it. It's like a job. And they try to mediate between you and the lawyer to come to an agreement. Yeah. Is it, is, is it the same meaning of settlement or kind of? End, we will we will arrive to a settlement. Yeah. Uh huh. It is very similar, but it's cheaper, and you don't go to court. So there's no judge, there's no lawyers there. It's just you and the. It's just you and the other person with a third person, and you try to come to an agreement. Yeah. yeah. Oh, as, a, as a result, as a result for uh, arbit uh, arbitration. As a result, we will get a settlement. Usually, yes. Right? Uh huh. Or if not a settlement, some kind of agreement. You will the the problem will be resolved. For sure, you will get a resolution, right? Um, the matter will be resolved. Yeah. Is there a difference between attorney and lawyer? No. Or it's the same thing. No, we have. In fact, you could say we have a lot of names. Attorney. Lawyer, counselor, um, and esquire are all the same. Yeah, I'm asking that because you know, when I watch some movies, I see the the expression "the ache." It, it's the district attorney. So right. Mhm. Mm that's right. Yep. And then they often will call them counselor. You know, they'll say, "What do you have to say, counselor?" So um. Uh, yeah, uh, tremendous. Tremendous means like very big. Yeah, very big, huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lawyer, liar. What different? <laughs> <laughs> Usually, the lawyer be a liar sometime. <laughs> right. Their only their only obligation is to um, defend. Is to give you a good defense. That's it. Uh, casualty, fatality. Those are the same. Christoph, mm -hmm. so yeah, a casualty, fatality, a death, those are all the same. Yeah. But uh, fatality have to be dead. Yeah, casualty too. A casualty, you have to be dead. Mm -hmm. Casualty too. Yes. Uh, if you are, you have car accident. Uh, what can you? Uh, make you just, that's it. You're just an. You were in an accident. That's it. A casualty means that somebody died. Yeah. So, like for example, if you read about the Vietnam War or something, by by country it'll say the casualties. You know, France, 
two hundred thousand. United States, a hundred thousand. Those are the people who died. Yeah. What an annihilation. Anni so, oh, we say annihilation. Annihilation. Um, annihilation. This means um, this means obliteration, total destruction, obliteration. Total, total destruction, obliteration, uh, total destruction. Yeah. So, like for example, um, like if you drop an atomic bomb, it will annihilate, you know, everything within like a ten-mile radius, right? Just completely okay. gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Total destruction. Annihilation, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what's, uh, what's pronunciation of annihilation? Yeah, annihilation. We say annihilation. Annihilation. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. The H, we don't really say the H too strongly in American English. We say, uh, I was annihilated. <laughs> annihilation. annihilation. Annihilation, yeah. Mm-hmm. Annihilation, we say, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, what no. about the hijack? Genocide. Oh, this is one. Yeah, I'm... yeah. That would be like an annihilation. You said hijack? Hijack, um, yeah. Hijack, okay. Uh, now, this is quite rare. This doesn't happen often. But to hijack means that um, somebody takes control of a vehicle. So it could be an airplane or um, a train or a boat or a car. So somebody else, they, they take control of the vehicle and they go where they want to go, right? Um, so like if a plane, usually a plane is hijacked. And so people will come on the plane and they'll have guns and they put the gun in, you know, to the head of the pilot and say, take me to Bermuda. <laughs> <laughs> and they go, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. We call that hijack. Now, that, it's rare. It doesn't happen often. Yeah, but we always see this, uh, especially in the 70s and the 80s. Yeah, the movies. <laughs> no, not the movies. Oh. For real. Oh, for, for real. real, yeah, that's true. There was more hijacking then, yeah. 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 Now it's uh, because of the the what do you say the security the security procedure. yeah mm -hmm. is better they they tightened they tightened the the procedures mm -hmm. they you're right they sure did uh, yeah. even in uh, 11 September it was uh, the, the attack of the September 11 yeah it was, was uh huh hijacking. that's right and hij hijacking yeah. that's what they yeah exactly right mm -hmm. yeah brutal. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I think there is a kitty. Yes. I think there is a uh, another kind of crime involving the use of fire. Oh yes, we call this arson. Uh, arson is um, intentional fire. Uh huh. Arson, intentional fire for destruction. Yes. Mm hmm. We call this arson. arson. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now this happens a lot. And I think I think now they know that people sometimes they call these people firebugs. Mm -hmm. A yeah. firebug they call them because they they're mentally um they have a condition. Um uh they're called pyromaniacs. Yeah. In French uh, pyromaniacs. Yeah. Latin. Uh -huh. That's right. It's Latin, yeah. Yeah, pyromaniacs. It's a it's a mental disease, I guess, and there's no cure that we know about. So I, it's very difficult. I don't think they can be stopped or cured. Um, uh, it's a they just I don't know. It's like a mental problem. <laughs> Psychiatric uh, background. Yeah. In Brazil, in Brazil, they they fire it by themselves. Oh. Wait, you mean they set themselves on fire? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, I know some people do this to protest, right? Some people, like extreme people, will set themselves on fire to protest something, but... In Nigeria, too. 
Oh, okay. I have two words. Uh, pi votel. What's the meaning of pi votel? Pi votel roll. Say again, what's the meaning of private? Pi votel. Pi votel roll. Oh, pivotal. Pivotal roll. A pivotal roll. This means like a really a very important part. So we could say something like, um, uh, legal, Abana, legal role? Means? Not, not, well, it could be legal. Anything that's really important. So you could say like Oppenheimer played a pivotal, pivotal role in So, for example, you could say um, Oppenheimer, like that famous physicist. I think, isn't he the one that started the atomic bomb? I think so. But, like, you could say Oppenheimer played, I'm sorry, played a pivotal role in changing bombs forever, right? Because if it wasn't for his um, discovery about how to split the atom, we wouldn't have atomic bombs or nuclear energy, yeah. for that matter. But, yeah, so a pivotal role... Important. I'm sorry. No. Go. Vital maybe vital vital is uh, more common than bio uh, by vital. Is it the same meaning? Yeah, vital, vital pivotal. Yeah, it's the same vital. usually. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Mhm. Mm major. Yeah, major. Mm -hmm. I prefer I prefer important role. Yeah, important role. Uh, pivotal is a little more important though. And vital is a little more important. So you have like, you have a, a, a major role that's here. Then next would be important. Then pivotal is even more important. So pivotal and vital would be up here. Then important, then major. So um, I think it's, it just shows more emphasis. Because of Teacher, the word. Can you go? Can... I'm sorry, wait, Christoph, because of? Of word pivot. I guess, yeah. Or the word vital, like meaning life, I guess. Pivot is like core. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, what? Teacher, what? can we go, yes. go back to the, you, you write a uh, uh, pyromanicus? Manicus. Oh, pyromania, uh-huh. Pyro no, you, you write it just before. Oh, pivotal? Uh, no, before, oh. the, uh, the word before this one. Firestarter? No. Oh, pyromaniacs? It's after. Yeah, pyromaniacs. Uh huh, pyromaniacs. Firebug. Firebug, yeah. <laughs> Firebug is pyromaniac. Yeah. yeah, we call them. That's what we call them. Pyromaniac. Do you remember the movie uh, Firestarter? Firestarter, yeah. And then also um, Backdraft, right? It's Stephen King uh, novel. And yeah, back, was, uh, Backdraft. Yeah, it was. Uh, uh, Drew Barrymore when she Right, was, uh huh, yes. But I think she. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. And Backdraft, I think, was another one, right? About about a fire bug, right? Or, I'm not sure if I spelled that right. Backdraft. How do we spell draft? Back. D R A F T. No? Oh, yeah, okay. D R A. Backdraft. Okay, I guess that's how they spelled Backdraft. Okay. Yeah, anyway, that movie, Backdraft, um, was about uh, uh, pyromania. Mm -hmm. A pyromaniac, a firebug. <laughs> I have uh, uh, smuggling. It's a crime also. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, smuggling. So smuggling just means that you bring something t into a country that's illegal, like drugs or, or women, uh, kids. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, I I know that now all over the world there's a problem with human smuggling, right? People are 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 smuggled into other countries for all kinds of reasons, for cheap labor or for prostitution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ransom. Uh, mm, I like the money. Oh yeah, ransom. I, go ahead. I'm sorry, Goliath. 
uh, I said uh, ransom. Ransom is uh, related to kidnapping. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. yes. That's the right. Money uh, asked for to, the, to right. set free the the kidnapped. Yes, right. Um, about kidnapping, what abduct? Yeah, abduct is, is the same. The thing. same. Okay. Yes, abduct and no kidnap. No difference. Nope. Nope. Abduct is just. Um, it's just a more grown-up word, I guess. Abduct is the same thing Formal. as kid Yeah. Because not everybody who is kidnapped is, is, is a child, right? Some people are kidnapped, but they're not a child. They are, they are a, an adult. So we say abduct, I guess, if it's an adult. Don't pronounce the B, teacher. Abduct. You say abduct. No, we say abduct. It's very brief, though. We do say abduct. I was, okay. He was abducted. Mm -hmm. So we pronounce the B. Yeah, we do. Yep. Mm -hmm. So kidnapping kills most for children. Usually. You know, I mean, it became, you know, like here in the United States, we had the Lindbergh baby. I don't know if you, this is really old. But the Lindbergh baby was... Um, um, and it's a very old story. This yeah, story. very old. Uh -huh. But I think this is where the where the word really became popular. The Lindbergh kidnapping. Um, I don't know if I spelled his name right, but yeah, it's a very old story from like 1920 or something. Very old. But, but this is last week. Uh, this free woman wasn't the child. They were. Kidnapped yeah, them? oh yeah, they were kidnapped too, but right, they were kidnapped or abducted. Mm -hmm. But we, I think, I was just telling you that why the word kidnapping is, is so popular, I think it got started with this Lindbergh thing, like a hundred okay. years ago. Yeah, and so that word became more popular than abduct. Yeah. Um, massacre, a massacre Missy. is just when... Yeah. Um, a massacre is when a lot of people are killed. Uh, um, like, like genocide? Yeah, oh. like genocide, yeah. Yeah, Or and they're usually killed for no reason, right? They're innocent people killed, right? It's so, okay. yeah, um, innocent people are killed. Yeah, like a genocide. Like the movie Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, exactly. Just for no reason, just arbitrarily, just, yeah. So, like... Um, so, like, for example, we had that horrible thing that happened in... Um, in Syria, Medicaid. maybe. Yeah, in like, Syria, the last few days. Yeah, was, Syria, the last few days. It happens all the time. I mean, right. Yeah. 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 Right. It was, it was a, terrible, I saw, I saw a terrible... I saw a terrible picture, picture about massacre happened in Syria last, last week, I think. It's yes, terrible. this is terrible. But uh, yeah. I, have comment, something. Uh, yeah. I have a comment in Syria, they are sometimes traffic in the... Yes! Uh, and traffic, and we have the proof of this. That's right. Are, yeah. And not and, just uh, Syria. We do it here, too, in the United States. The United mm -hmm. States does it. I mean, that's what's... Yeah, I mean, it's a problem. The last yeah. time they, they, they accused the, the, op the opposition of throwing uh, uh, chemical... Uh, chemical uh, Something like that. Yes, this is horrible. Government, yeah. Yeah, just terrible. Absolutely. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. yeah. It's absolutely uh, an opposite of the human being. A lot of picture for a killing child. This is not. Yeah. Oh, it's just horrible. It, it's just. It's a, truly. <laughs> Cannibalism. Cannibalism. Okay. Um, <laughs> let, let me give you um, this link in case I have some new students here. This is the Facebook link for Colingo. Cannibal. Okay. Again, this is very rare, right? But cannibal. Cannibals are people who eat other humans, right? <laughs> um, so a cannibal um, uh, yeah, is somebody. Yeah. To eat uh, human. Uh, uh, it's yeah. not uh, necessarily uh, alive. Maybe uh, uh, necro. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cannibal. Uh, dead people. Yeah, who? Yeah, they eat human meat, dead or alive, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the early, earliest uh, discover they discovered the. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> so I have to, to myself. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny, Dennis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but cannibalism, Sorry. I think, is quite rare, right? Uh, it's I think it's it's not it's not common, 
um, unless people have no choice, right? I mean, it happens in times of extreme distress, right? Um, it, if there's no other food, you know, that that's one thing. But I, I don't think it's it's common. Yeah, yeah like Hannibal. There, yes. there is there is a story on North Pole. Yeah, it there happens. Is there is a story. Yeah, I read a bit, uh, the first column. Uh, cannibalism in Syria. It is topic of cannibalism in Syria. Oh, okay. Interesting. So wait, I'm sorry, Goliath. You were saying there's a movie about no, cannibalism. No, it's oh. about American history. When they discovered oh. the, the West, they the, uh, there was a migrant, and they were stuck in the mountains. Right. This is a story. They, yeah. They, uh, well, st I think that's kind of different, right? I mean, yes. Mm -hmm. People, people will do what they have to do to live, yeah. but as far as as far as just eating other humans just for like your regular meal, I don't, I don't think it's common. <laughs> I think it, it happens, but it's again, it, it's it's a little bit of a mental disease, right? I think, I think there oh. are people, but it's rare. Oh, for custom, for custom of tribute. There is tribes that they eat uh, in uh, in Africa. Yeah. They eat yes. Yeah, they do. It's not about mental, maybe customs. Uh huh. Habit. And Christoph, what were you saying? I said the same. The tribes. Yeah. The and 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 there's a famous book. Um, oh God, what was it called? Michael Heinlein wrote it. I know the author. Oh, Stranger in a Strange Land. That's about cannibalism. <laughs> Uh, by Michael Heinlein. That's a good one. <laughs> he has a very different view of um, a very different view of um, of, can of cannibalism. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Stranger in a Strange Land, Michael Heinlein. If you're interested, it's just a made-up book, though, made-up story. <laughs> what is it about? Just a few uh, an idea. It's a it's a it's like a science fiction book. Um, it's about this this alien, I guess, kind of. His name is Valentine Michael Smith. Um, is his name, and he uh, Valentine Michael Smith is the main character, and he you know he lives on a different planet. It's just about it's about just like his life, yeah. But he happens to be a um, he happens to be a cannibal, <laughs> yeah. And it's normal. It's part of life. It's yeah. It's not. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think you're right, Christoph. <laughs> Maybe some of us are more innocent than others. <laughs> you're welcome, Fabio. All right, everybody. I'll see you all next time. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye.